you, you talked about, you know, a lot of advice here for some of the guys coming up. Very, very unfortunate passing this week. Superstar Billy Graham, a, a guy that you've said recently on, on Sean Waltman's podcast, uh, you know, was the first Stone Cold. So I kind of just wanted to ask you about that. You've given the advice to, to some of these newer guys. This was the guy that gave you a ton of advice when, when you were just getting going, right? Well, he didn't really give me a ton of advice, but I watched his career very intently. And when WWE came out with their DVD uh, collection of him, it was called Superstar Billy Graham, 20 years ahead of his time. Words to that effect. And he was. When uh, he left the WWE, when he left the WWF, after he dropped that scrap to Backlund, man, I, I, I think there was a huge opportunity missed when he was, you know, hot as hell as a heel and he it started becoming so entertaining with his promos that the crowd was starting to like him, which was happening to me. But Superstar did it way back then. Had Senior had the wherewithal to flip him, baby. And I just got finished talking to Bully Ray and, and uh, Tommy and the guys on Busted Open. And they said that Superstar had pitched a babyface run to Senior and he turned it down because they already had a handshake shake agreement that, you know, back then was going to get the title. So that would have been, it would have been interesting to see superstar uh, mania before Hulk mania came around because Hulk was influenced by superstar as well as so many other people. So he, he was a great, he was all about the showmanship of it and the physique and he was a different vibe and a hell of a promo. And, you know, he influenced a whole lot of people. I've been out in the desert uh, running buggies. I started a, a race career uh, because of this show, some of the events that we've done. I've been out riding in the desert practicing for my next show, but I'm, I'm looking forward to the next show because I feel like uh, the, the more we filmed as we went on, you know, we, we never really filmed a pilot. You know, this was just kind of like throwing stuff at the wall, seeing what sticks in a gigantic experiment. And all the show, although the show is called Stone Cold Takes on America, I'm being Steve. So some of the fish out of water stuff is un uncomfortable. And so when we get into the adrenaline stuff, that's when I'm a little bit more in my element. So the, the show's kind of growing a little bit. And I think I ended up finding myself midway through and we kind of find out what the show is all about. You married two people on the show. I, I got to guess there's a laundry list of people out there that would have loved to have the honor to be married by you. How'd that come about? Man, I don't know. There, there were some super fans, and they'd been watching, the, you know, the business a long time. And the opportunity came about, so we went down to Vegas, where a lot of people go down to Vegas and get married, and a lot of them end up divorced. So I, I talk, I talked with these this young couple, and, and uh, you know, wanted to make sure they were serious about what they were doing, and had they found, you know, the right person, you know, for them, found a soulmate, so to speak as it took me a few efforts to do so. So I felt like I'm kind of an expert on these matters. Uh, but then as it turned out, as the ceremony started, all these family members, God dang, Mojo, I've been in front of crowds of 90,000 people of looking at me. And there was probably 40, 50 people from the, you know, the family members looking at me. And I was like, God, and I, I don't want to be a circus sideshow distraction. You know, this is this is the moment these two these two kids are going to remember for the rest of their life. So I don't want to f it up. <laughs> so it made me kind of nervous. So and and even though I'm used to being in front of people, those aren't the kind of people I'm used to being in front of. So it was a little fish out of water because I didn't want to f up their freaking uh, ceremony. So you were more nervous in front of forty to fifty people for this wedding. Then main eventing multiple WrestleManias. <laughs> no, 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 because it was because like this, like I'm just being Steve Austin, right? I, like I, I like in, in any job I've ever done, I'm a perfectionist, man. I just want to do a good job, right? So I'm not going to go out there, and, and I'm not trying to be, you know, Stone Cold. So I, I don't have that protective armor of that Stone Cold character, that veneer, just to, you know, like putting on a pair of shoulder pads. I can hit a wall without any pads on, I can put the shoulder pads and hit that wall. That's That would be Stone Cold. So I'm doing it as Steve Austin, and by a default mechanism, if we're just hanging out, man, dude, I'm easy going, I can meet anybody. I, I never met a stranger. But in a moment like that, you know, I'm like, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous.